Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this one, we are going to be painting the mask for my Ashen Man cosplay. I apologize for the sound in the background. Howie is playing one of my favorites, my younger favorite. Um, so yeah, I have it all plastic dipped and ready to go like we did at the end of the part 9 video, which was where I made this mask. Um, so we have three layers of plastic dip on here, which means it's primed for painting. I'm going to start off, even though this is going to be a silvery, kind of like a dingy silver, which I'm getting a lot of sunlight right here. This is black right now. I don't know. It's just solid black, but we're getting a lot of shine. So the plastic dip is a spray on rubber, which is why we're kind of getting the shine right now. Um, I'm going to start off with at least two coats of this hammered spray paint. It's in brown. I wanted bronze because I need to find dark bronze, which was darker than this. So I didn't want to be too dark. So we're going to start with this. Um, I'm going to take this box out, have it glued up in this box like I did for the Plasti Dip. Um, I'm going to take the box outside, do all these coats outside. I have to wait 30 minutes in between each coat. Plan on doing two. We'll see if I need to do more than two or not. Um, and then after that, we'll wait for it to dry at least an hour. We'll see. And then we'll start doing the painting. Get it silver, get all the details and all that. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos, at least where I talked about this, um, it's supposed to look metally like my bracers and other armor piece as well. So that's the first piece I'm going to paint. Oh, and this, I just have my faux leather straps taped up like I did my plastic dips so they won't end up with paint on them because the straps are already finished and ready to go. I don't want to mess them up. So yeah, we're going to paint this now. I'm not going to show you spray painting it. It's just, you know, how you spray paint anything and how I did plastic it basically. But what, the rest of the painting, once the spray paint, spray paint is dry, we will do all the painting on video here. So you can see it all. And I'm just going to be using acrylic paint for everything. My main color will be the silver here. As I sip up some. I have this off Amazon. I'll share a link. And then all my other ones, I'm just using your basic cheap um, acrylic paints from Walmart. So I have black, brown, and I also have some metallic gold. Actually, I think this one's the regular gold. I have a metallic gold too, just in case we need a little more shiny in there. The silver is metallic as well. And yeah. Um, I did have a little test piece here. Now this wasn't primed, so of course it absorbed paint. But this is sort of the effect I'm going for, except I didn't do any of the black one here for like shading and all that since it's a solid piece. I plan on putting the black like between teeth and then like on the, let's see, shorter piece here, which I'm still sanding. It's in a rough shape right now. But like on this, I'll have black going down like in this area. So yeah, now let's go spray paint this real first, first real quick. Okay, so I have both coats of spray paint on here. I just did two. It's dried plenty of enough that I get paint now. Um, so yeah, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it kind of has that little bit of a textured look to it. From being the hammered type. Uh, spray paint. Yeah, this isn't the full dry, which is 24 hours, but it's been a couple of hours, and it said to wait one hour before touching it so you don't get fingerprints, so we're good there. Um, but I'm not too worried about being fully dry before painting, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And it is sitting weird because I have these taped still, and while they're taped, they like don't move that freely, so it's a little awkward at the moment, but I don't really want to take the tape off until I'm done painting, just in case I somehow manage to like flip the straps around and touch paint. I don't want to get paint, any paint on them. So let's get to painting. All right, so time to paint with acrylics. So pretty much the only thing I use is that silver I showed and then black. So I'm gonna have different mixtures of how much black versus silver I use. I am starting with a good bit of black in there. So it ends up being this kind of a gunmetal color and I'm just doing a quick quote coat of that all over. Um, I can better angles here. We'll get better as we go. But yeah, I'm just coating the whole thing in this kind of like gunmetal silver color is where I just mixed a good bit of black into that silver to give it that really dark silver look. And then I'm going to add in my next mixture will have less black in it mixed into the silver so it's a little bit lighter and I'm using a chip brush here so it's kind of pulling all those layers of paint off so we start seeing 
the different shades. We're going to see the brown that's underneath all the acrylic. We'll see some of the darker gunmetal-y color as well, and then we'll have this um, medium silver as well. I'm not doing straight silver paint right, until so I'm getting to the highlights. This white, this was with the two layers of the brown hammered spray paint covered with my black mixed with silver paint. I coated that with just a regular brush and I went over it with a chip brush, this guy here, with the plain silver over top of that. While it was, I didn't let it dry in between coats other than the spray paint. The spray paint was totally dry, but I didn't wait for this one to dry before I did the other one because I wanted it to pull paint up. So I don't know if it's going to pick up on here or not. But you can see the silver, silver and black, and brown all through this. So there's like the different colors. So I am going to let this much dry. And then I'm going to go back in there with the silver again because it is still too dark for what I want. But I do want to do a lot of layering to get um, different shades in here before I'm done with the silver. And then I'll go in with the black with just black later. So this is where we are for now. I'm trying to get this to pick up, and it is very metallic-y. The spray paint was a metallic, um, and so is the silver. The black was a matte black, but mix mixed with a metallic, so it didn't really matter. So there's definitely some brush strokes here, but I'm not done painting, so we'll mess with them as we go. Um, I think I have some specks in here I need to pick up. And you can see on the paint here, that's what the spray paint was. So it's, that color is the base color. So yeah, we'll give this a minute to dry and keep going. And I'll work on better camera angles. So I'm going over this with more silver with that chip brush that's kind of mixing in the paint. I didn't wait for the lower uh, layers of paint to dry. I just went ahead and started putting it in there so it all mixes up really well. So I'm going to go all over the whole mask with this. So that is with another coat of silver. Uh, I'm still kind of just dry brushing over it to get rid of some of these lines. Because as much as I'm using a trip brush to kind of pull in, pull out some of that paint to get some color showing through, I don't really want lines. So I'm kind of going over which direction. The things I don't mind the lines too much on those, but as far as like the areas that would be smooth, I don't want them to have the lines in there. So I think we're getting a pretty good metally texture. I don't think I'm going to do any more silver except for like some highlights um, because in the game it's not shiny. It almost looks like stone actually, um, but I wanted it, I wanted it to be a little shiny for myself. I just look shiny. So I think from this point we're going to do silver for highlights and then black for the crevices and such. Some shading, I guess. Um, I'm not super sure where I'll put those, put the black and such other than on around the teeth. Um, just because I know I'm going to do it on the bracer. It's like, oh, uh, well, here's the shoulder guy here. So like around these little beveled edges, I'll put black. And the bracers have that, and pretty much just the armor has that. This is the only piece of armor that doesn't have things like that. I thought about it, but I decided not to. So, I thought it'd be weird on the face to do that. But yeah, so we'll just uh, keep going at it. So without any extra paint onto my chip brush, I'm just running it every which direction to blend out some of those lines, is what I was saying. So now I'm using the black acrylic paint mixed with some water. So it's really diluted to just use a paintbrush and put it into the little crevices around the teeth and then I'm blending it off of some tissue. So I'm gonna do that repetitively around the teeth until I get it to the right shade that I want. Um, I don't, I don't wanna do it too much at one time because I don't want lines to be like super bold. I want this to be more like a shadow. So let's keep doing this over and over until it's the way that I'd like it.
So now that I have the shadows done, I'm going to go into my highlights. So for the overall highlight everywhere, I'm going to do a little smidge of that gold paint. It's a metallic gold mixed into my metallic silver. But it's mostly silver, not gold. Just wanted to warm it up a little bit. And I'm brushing that all over. And then I'll start kind of dry brushing it a little bit because I only want that to really be something you see when the light hits it, not overall. So you can kind of see here as I'm rotating it while I'm painting. I'm also putting just silver without any gold mixed into it on these teeth here. Um, and I, blend, I do blend it out. I don't leave it sharp lines like that. But I just wanted to give it a minute to kind of sit there. So I just went around all the teeth and then went back in and kind of smudged it out with my brush. Just had a little highlight. So I'm just, I uh, have done my top coat here. This is the top coat that I'm using, which is actually a varnish. Um, it's supposed to be better than using just a regular top coat, which is what I normally do. So I thought I'd try this instead. Um, with the top coats I've used before, I was still finding that they rubbed up against things. Even if it wasn't a lot, the paint was still kind of scuffing. So we'll see if that stuff works better. And now I'm just going to get this tape off here. And this will be done. Well, other than adding my LED in there, but I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet. I know how I want this in there, but I need to think of something that will make it so it can be removed. Since it's battery battery operated itself, it needs to be able to come out of there so I can change batteries. My test one's actually dead right now, so it seems like the batteries die fairly quickly. Um, not too quickly. For a convention, it'll be fine, but... I'll bring some backup batteries just in case, but I'm probably going to do that actually soon. Just turn it on and just leave it on and see how long, but I've noticed that if you leave the batteries in, even if it's off, it must be using the batteries still anyway because they will die. Like, I'll go to use it a week later and can't do it, so I'm going to see how long they last with the battery on all the time, how quickly, how quickly it's dying then. But with the battery in but off, about, I, I think two weeks is about the point where it can't turn on anymore. Okay, back off these little straps. Just want to make sure how these wrapped up really well because I didn't want to risk any paint on this stuff. So this tape doesn't stick to the faux leather too bad, but it does stick to itself uh, a lot, like really bad. So, whether I'm struggling, it's not because it's stuck to the thing, it's stuck to itself. One more. Yeah, they're done. Putting the LEDs in there, the lights. This is done. Um, I'm thinking something to do with Velcro. 
but I haven't quite figured out how yet. But other than that, I'm pretty much calling this done because all the painting's done, everything else is done. It's just sticking that in there and I might smooth out a couple spots on the inside, but overall it is done. And the varnish is a matte coat. They had matte and glossy. I didn't want this to be too shiny since um, the armor in the game for this particular character doesn't look shiny at all. Like I said before, it kind of looks like rock almost. It's that kind of dingy looking. Um, but really, I would have to do paint it just gray, and I didn't want to do just gray. I felt like that would look weird in person. But I think this... Um, rough looking paint job here is a close enough but a little bit shinier version and then my little buckles back here and that's another thing i need to do is i need to poke holes in this i stamped some holes in here and it works but when i'm painting on these holes aren't visible enough like i can't feel them or anything to put it on so it makes it difficult um but i am ordering a hole punch for my table press soon and it does have the ability to punch holes in leather, so I'm just going to be using that when it gets here. Could do it manually, but I'll make a nice little complete circle there. this is the bottom strap here that goes around my neck at the base of my skull and then this one up here goes up around the top of my head not the very top but back towards my crown and I have decided not to connect the nine elf ears to this originally I was going to but I want to be able to wear this around my neck or on top of, top of my head or not on top of my head but on my face um, and the ears would only be in the right place while it's on my face, not while it's down around my neck, which I imagine I'll probably have down a lot. Yeah, that's the part that goes on top of my head. So, yeah. yeah right here, we ended up a little rough here. I think it was back when my sewing machine was having a little bit of issues. But other than that, I think it turned out well, and I'm happy with it. And I'm excited to be working on the shoulders next um started sanding one of those once i have that one figured out i'll be recording sanding my other one so i think i'm working on the left shoulder right now so i'll be recording the right shoulder when i do it which i haven't done anything on other than what you guys have seen before so i'm excited to share that with you oh and i also i did not record making my cow i believe 
I don't think I recorded that. I think I forgot to. So I'm going to show my cow later on. If you guys want to see how to do that. It was really simple and quick to do. I made it in like an hour. Which is probably why I didn't uh, think to record it. But yeah, I made it during a little break when I was waiting for something to dry. Or maybe it was, maybe it was the paint, the Plasti Dip. I think when I was waiting for the Plasti Dip on everything to dry, I worked on the cow. It's not completely done. I just have to finish the edges. I'm talking about it. I do have my pelt hanging on top of my mannequin right now. But this is the cow. Um, I use the same flannel for the inside lining as I did on the lining for my skirt. And it's the same faux fur on top. I do have to go in and repair a couple spots where my sewing machine caught just barely on the edge so the seam pulled in one spot. Um, but the only place where it's not finished is where the lining at the very bottom connects to the fur. So I can turn it right back, in, back inside out again so I can fix that seam. And then also I'm drafting plans for my chest piece and I want to add a snap in here on the front point and the point around the back to have it snap into place on the chest piece so it doesn't move around because right now it's when I've tried it on it's just kind of trying to shift around from one side to the other when I turn my head and I want these points to stay centered so we'll have little snaps in there that'll poke in and yeah so I haven't recorded a video making this but I do have my pattern on hand still and if you guys are curious on how to make this it is an oversized hood like very oversized which is what I was going for um yeah the pattern I can make a quick one probably not with fur since it's expensive and I don't need a fur cow for anything else but I can do just flannel or something I have tons of leftover flannel and cotton if you guys want to see how I did that so thank you so much for watching this video and this guy's all done now, and soon I'll be finishing my bracers as well. I'm probably going to paint them next, since they're ready to paint. Um, I'm holding off on painting the ears until I get potty paint. I kind of came up with an idea for a bodysuit type deal. But, well, you'll see what that is. Well, I'll show that later. I plan on videoing that. I meant to video the cow, I just completely forgot. I did it, like... When I was taking a break, and then I was like, oh wait, <laughs> forgot that. But yeah, so the next video will either be painting the bracers or sanding and getting the shoulders ready to paint. Or ready to plastic it up, and then we'll paint them later. So yeah, and then whenever I get face paint finally, I will paint those ears. And then we'll figure out how to attach those to my head. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a playlist where you guys can watch all of these videos for this particular build, so from the very beginning to where we are now, and where we'll be in the future. And yeah, if you want to see some, I'm trying to do videos weekly, sometimes they're not cosplay, sometimes they're my pets, but I think you guys like the ferrets and enjoy them, so. Oh, and some unboxings, I did get a new machine today that I don't think I want to do an unboxing of, but I want to do a review of later. So yeah. And then in between videos, I'm always, anytime I'm working on this, I'm making either posts or stories, usually stories all the time, but sometimes post to my Instagram showing my progress. So like the early stages of this that I did not get videoed, I did show photos of in my story on Instagram. So follow me on there. I have the link in the description where you can find that. I'll have links for where you can find my materials I use here. So yeah, thanks for watching.